Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming. I'm Michael Crenshaw. I work at Intuit as a staff software engineer. And for you all, I am an Argo CD lead. Um, so a lot of what I love about these statistics is it's not just about the Argo maintainers and what the Argo maintainers do. It's about you all. Because when we list these numbers for contributions, that includes commenting on an issue, commenting on a PR. Um, in my book, going into CNCF Slack and answering questions also counts as contribution. So who all here, by show of hands, has done things like that? Commenting, opening PRs, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so there are tons of contributors in this audience. So what we're talking about is actually just you all. Uh, so Argo CD year in review. Uh, we saw a 20% growth year over year in GitHub stars, um, which is just absolutely incredible. It's a, a fifth again um, for a project that's already been around for a long time and is very mature. Uh, 1,700 commits, 3,500 contributors, and these numbers are just wild. 120 new features and 350 bug fixes just in the last year. Uh, in great part thanks to you all in this audience. And I think 97 releases is actually out of date. We cut some uh, patch releases. So we did 100 releases in 12 months. New features that came in 2024 that are really exciting uh, include app set change previews. So in the past, uh, app sets is an amazing tool. It, it automates the creation of applications for you. Um, but it can be a little bit tricky if you don't know uh, the effect of a change you're about to make. So we added a feature that lets you see what that looks like before you actually make the change. We added service account impersonation, which allows you to take advantage of Kubernetes RBAC to secure your deployments. So uh, you set up a service account, and you sync on behalf of that service account when you run Argo CD Sync. So a huge security improvement and one that's been long awaited. Uh, we added Source Hydrator, which is an implementation of the rendered manifest pattern. So if you were around for last ArgoCon, there was a lot of talk about the new rendered manifest pattern that a lot of people were adopting, and now we have first-class support for it in Argo CD. And then finally, these last two may seem small, but they're extremely exciting to me because they represent some of the, uh, some of the contributions that are nearest and dearest to the hearts of the people in the audience. People have added basically uh, as many, again, health checks as we had before. So this means that when you start using Argo CD, it's already going to support a ton of the resources that you have in installed on your cluster, and you'll get the little green hearts and, and the red checks representing uh, the state of those resources. And finally, we have um, three times, again, as many actions. And if you don't know what these are, if you've ever like clicked the little three dots beside a cron job and started a job based on that, that's what an action is. So adding these builds a ton more power into the Argo CD UI and CLI. Uh, and these are things that are pretty easy for people to contribute. So if you haven't added a resource health check or a resource action and you have an idea for one that would be good, uh, please go open a PR. It's pretty easy to write the Lua scripts that do it and it has a huge impact on the project. Um, I want to highlight some new maintainers we have and folks who have been promoted. So if you're not aware, uh, the Argo project has different tiers, different levels of um, maintainer. Uh, so we have members, reviewers, approvers, and leads. And these folks have been promoted to approver as well as reviewer in the last year. And just these four folks uh, have produced these statistics. Over 100 PRs created. Um, more than 1,000 reviewed and uh, over 80 PRs merged. That is a huge amount of contribution and represents a massive leap forward in Argo CD's capabilities. So thanks to these contributors. And yeah, thank you for that, yeah. And I think this last year has actually been um, the year of approvers in Argo CD. This, this chart is extremely exciting to me for what happens in early 2024. These represent the contributions of just people who have approver level, so people who can independently merge pull requests in Argo CD. And we had a huge leap of activity over this last year. This means that your bug fixes when you open a PR or your issues when you open one they get addressed more quickly and they get addressed more effectively by people who can actually move a change uh, to get it fixed or get a new feature in. Um, so this is going to improve our PR velocity and just improve the Argo CD project. 
Uh, so big exciting thing that just happened actually a few weeks ago was we released the first release candidate for Argo CD version 3.0. Um, this is our first major release in four years. And uh, I, I call it the small but mighty release because our intention is for it to be as easy to upgrade to v3.0 as it has been to upgrade through patch versions or minor versions. Um, so some things that we've done is we've enabled a number of performance and security options by default, things that have been available for a long time but just weren't, uh, weren't enabled by default. We have removed several features which I, I'm super excited about because it's things that have been around for a long time, no one really used them, and it's code that we can delete. And anytime I can delete code, that makes me very, very happy. Uh, and then finally, this release paves the way for what I hope will be a really ambitious version 4 release. I would really like to version our CRDs and go from V1 Alpha 1 to V1, which could include some really exciting uh, usability improvements. So if you have ideas for what version 4.0 could contain, please open issues uh, and we'll add them to the V4.0 milestone. The future of Argo CD is gonna hold um, new OCI support, which we're gonna talk about in a panel discussion later today. Uh, Personally, I'm going to be focused on uh, trying to get PR change previews as a first class feature of Argo CD. I think that'll be a massive improvement, something that people have done in third party projects already. And in the community, we wanna focus on a few things. First is finding ways to recognize the contributions of folks who aren't just contributing code, people who plan events, who uh, manage meetings, et cetera. And we're working on a structure to allow those folks to be incorporated as maintainers. We also want to improve PR review velocity, which is something that uh, the, you saw the big spike in approver contributions. I anticipate that we're gonna move more PRs more quickly. Uh, so if you have a PR that's open and awaiting review, um, getting that merged is gonna be a focus for us this next year. And then finally, in the GitOps space more generally, I think we're gonna see a lot of stabilization around how environment promotion is done. And you're gonna hear a number of talks today focused on that. Uh, it's still a big hurdle for GitOps to overcome, and I'm excited that the Argo ecosystem is leading uh, the development of GitOps in that way. So with that, that's uh, Argo CD, and I will pass it off uh, to hear about Argo workflows.